Hey guys, welcome. I am super excited to show you all, well not all, I'm just gonna give you a little, um, a little peek at some of the products that are available with Redesign with Prima now. Today, they're out, they released. Um, so, I'm working on this dresser behind me. We're going to be applying, oh my goodness, my favorite Redesign with Prima transfer. It's my favorite. I mean, there are several that are gorgeous and several that are my favorite, but this one is also my favorite. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna apply it. I'm gonna show you how. Um, we're going to talk about how I painted this, what products I used, and um, I'm so glad you're here. So I'm gonna give um, couple seconds for you guys to jump on. I'm going to go turn off my heater because we don't need that noise right now. And then we're going to get started. Okay. So let me know if you're here. Hi, Maria. Hi, Pam. Yeah. I mean, I'd really like to have my heater on because it is so cold here but um, it just, it's too loud, so you won't be able to hear me. Hi, Randy, I mean, Randy. Hi, Terry. <laughs> uh, okay, so, yes, Redesign with Prima has their new release going on today. We've been showing you sneak peeks of all of the amazing products that are available. Um, I have a few um, pieces that I have created with uh, some of the redesign molds, the aviary love and um, spring blossom, I think it's called. Uh, those molds are fantastic and um, I just attached them to the front of a beautiful vanity that I've been wanting to share with you forever and it's on my page now so go take a peek at that. Hi Susan, hi Lula. Good morning, Sherry. Hi. So, all right. Um, today, we're going to be working with the Vigorous Violet. It is gorgeous. I don't know. I mean, I love purple. I love purple. Do you guys love purple? It's so pretty, but it's so large. Some of our transfers um, are available on six sheets. So that means they are huge. Okay. So, and then it always shows right on the back of your container when you receive it, how many sheets are actually in there. And um, they are cut up in six sheets. One, two, three, four, five, six. And it kind of, it's very helpful because you can um, kind of just get an idea of where you're gonna place your it on your furniture or your wall or your art or whatever you're gonna use it makes it easier plus it has um, lines now so that um, it makes it easier for measuring and just locating the exact place where you want it on your it's beautiful right Jacqueline beautiful where you want it on your furniture so vigorous violet is what we're working with today okay but let me just show you a few more and these are available on my website this morning today they're already there um i put them on there last night so that they would be ready to go all right here is this one is called life in full bloom now this is just as gorgeous but this is done with pinks and some grays um, beautiful greenery. Oh, should I show you? <laughs> okay, there we go. Is that beautiful or what? Love it. Okay, this is available on three sheets. So again, you just look on the back and right here, it'll show you one, two, and three. Okay, so this is life in full bloom. I did attach my links up at the top, so go check them out if you're interested in any of these. This one is called Pure Light Floral. Look at that. So it's got beautiful florals in pale pinks, 
uh, pale blues, purples, I should say more lavender, and then this gorgeous scripting. And it's all in French, of course. It's very, very pretty. This is available in one, two, three sheets, okay? But of course you can intermingle these um, transfers. You can use several on one piece. Um, you can use one transfer on several pieces. It's really, really fun. Um, here's another one. This is called Botanical Magazine. Now this is exactly what I'm talking about. This would be a fantastic transfer to um, use either by itself or with um, other transfers. This is a black and white script. Botanical Magazine, collection of flowers, plants, flowers, a bargain collection, all kinds of goodies. Of course, you can cut this up and use it several different ways. Or you can use it all in one big sheet and it's available in one, two, three. All right. These are all available at my shop today and they're also on my website, okay? Hi, Pam. Good morning. All right, so let's talk about what we're working on here. Should I mention any more? I'll wait, I'll mention other products later, okay? So we'll just get just a quick little preview of these and how to apply a transfer if you've never done it. Pam, you're late and it's okay. <laughs> it's absolutely okay. Welcome. All right, so I'm gonna show you how to apply a transfer to a dresser with this beautiful curved front. Okay, um, the color that I used is our one hour enamel and yeah, it's all over the place, my paint. It's how I paint because I paint so many different projects all at the same time. I may be messy, possibly. Um, so this is our white birch and it's one of our gorgeous whites in our white, uh, in our white, in our wise owl one hour enamel. One hour enamel is an amazing paint because you, um, that's, it's really strange. Somebody um, just pulled up in my driveway and um, my driveway is so full of snow. I can't even believe that they're even in my driveway. So I don't know. Okay, we'll just keep going. Fingers crossed, it's not strange. Okay, um, so one hour enamel is amazing. You clean your piece. Um, this is one of those bleeders, one of those bleeders. This is a solid mahogany chest and it is going to bleed, I promise you. So um, I painted it in white. Wow, how brave am I? I'm brave. No, I'm not really. Um, after I completely cleaned this with our Green Easy Remove Cleaner and made sure I clean up all of the residue, I got rid of all the years of varnish and all kinds of stuff that we didn't need on this anymore. Um, then I gave it a light sanding, which means I scuff sanded it. I literally took one of my sponge sanding pads and I just sanded the the whole dresser down, um, making for a super smooth finish, but also making it um, so that my paint would have some tooth to adhere to, okay? After I did that, and I cleaned that off, got rid of all of that dust, then I applied our white primer. So two coats of my stain, elim our stain eliminating primer allowed it to um, really do its job, so meaning I let it thoroughly dry. I let it rest um, like six hours in between each coat. The longer you wait, the better it is for your primer because it's going to really start um, just blocking all of those um, stains and bleed throughs and anything that can happen, okay? 
But when you're painting with one hour enamel, you want to use primer anyway because our oh, one hour enamel, did I just say that? Our one hour enamel has to have um, something to grab onto. So you're letting it grab onto our primer, you're good to go. The finish of the one hour enamel is amazing and you do not have to seal it. Do not at all have to seal it. The only time you would seal it is if you possibly um, wanted an even stronger, um, stronger product, like um, maybe if you were painting your floors, um, you wanted to just give that extra top coat, you would use our one hour enamel clear. And that's available in satin, semi-gloss, and matte. And if you don't like this finish, being like an eggshell enamel finish, then you could change it up also with the clear, okay? All right, so I'm going to apply a transfer right over this. It's a beautiful finish. And um, I wish I could just show you, I did the other half already. I had to do it last night because I just couldn't wait until this live. But that's cool because we can start this and then I can show you what it's gonna look like and we'll be good to go, okay? All right, so let's get started and stop talking, right? I know. Okay, so hopefully I have everything all ready to go here. I think I do. You're going to, what I would suggest is having some painter's tape having a pair of scissors. Um, I like using a Sharpie marker. Um, this comes right in your um, transfer. It's uh, your application tool. And, and, and that should be it. Okay, so this transfer is, look at it. <laughs> Are you guys loving it as much as I am? Or maybe you don't like purple. <laughs> Who doesn't like purple, right? This is just one of the sheets. There are six of these. So can you imagine how much fun you can have with this transfer? Okay, and yes, I'm gonna repeat myself a few times for those that are just hopping on. But yes, this is available on my website or in my shop right now, okay? So what I suggest you do, okay, I am going to be applying it to this side of, this is the left side of the dresser. The right side has already been done. And what I have done is I have taken, let me show you, Okay, again, like I said, on the back there are, there's an illustration. One, two, three, four, five, six sheets. Bring it closer for you. I used this half right here, the left half, over on the right side of the dresser. Now we're gonna start working with the right half and I'm gonna put that on the left side of the dresser. So I have basically, um, divided this into um, different directions into, I've cut it in half. Got it? Hopefully that makes sense. See the six sheets? Okay, so we're working with this one right now. Now, also with transfers, do you see these lines? And do you see the numbers? 18, 19, okay, so, we're starting over here and I'm going to start way up here at the top. Now I already applied my painter's tape so that um, it would take less time knowing that I would be doing talking as I do. Um, here's a nice tip. You can always start off making things easier for yourself and just cut along the edge. right up to this line so that you know exactly where you want to start. The, this edge, this straight edge right here, 
is going to be going right here at the end of this drawer. Okay, maybe over a little bit more. Okay, I'm just going to, now there's two sheets. There's a clear sheet and a white sheet. All right, and that is how I want to apply it. So I'm just going to just tape it, tape it. Oh yeah, it's already getting cold in here. Yeah, I'm in the Chicagoland area and we had so much snow yesterday that I wasn't expecting. Um, poof, horrible, horrible cold. And I had some gorgeous furniture that I had to get out of the back of my truck as soon as possible. <laughs> okay, so here we go. The reason I have taped this is because I want to make this so easy for myself. I want to see how the end of this drawer goes right here. And I want my um, transfer to end there. This is just one way to do it, guys. Um, because I know I want to have this piece right here um, still be white and not have a transfer on it. Yeah, I'm not that cold yet. Thank you, Susan. But I, um, I may, <laughs> I may do that. All right. So I'm just taking my Sharpie and I am working along my pattern. I'm actually feeling where the bottom of the drawer goes and I'm very comfortable doing that. I'm just taking my hand, just feeling where the drawer ends, and then just making my little trail of dotted lines. Okay. All right, so now I'm going to put my marker where I know I'm going to find it. So I'm going to need it, need it, need it. I am going to cut along that dotted line. leaving both, sorry, leaving both papers intact. Now if I wanted it to go, let's see, hold on. Doo -doo -doo. I like to talk while I'm doing something, but then I might cut my finger off, you never know. All right, I'm gonna set this piece that I'm not using right now right down close to me so that I don't lose it. Um, if I were going to be just doing the whole front, then I would not have done this step, okay? You would have been able to just use the whole transfer, and it would absolutely go over this lip. It would, okay? But we're not doing that today because I love the way uh, the detail came out kind of peeking through. Hopefully, I didn't just confuse anybody. All right, so now... I'm going to make sure I've got it all the way to the edge. Boom, and I'm very happy with my measurement. And now I'm going to just allow this white backing to release. And then very carefully, I am going to apply this. And it's gonna be so pretty, just wait. Look how, you're not gonna believe how beautiful um, the dresser is painted in white birch. White birch, one hour enamel, such a beautiful white. Um, I painted um, my walls in our living room, actually one wall, um, in white birch also. And oh, it's just the most beautiful white white with a hint of gray. Okay, so I'm just making sure that I like where I've put this. Yep. I usually have to work slower on my first one, especially when I'm talking. So bear with me guys. I'm just trying to be patient with myself for a second here. And voila. Okay, all right. So this part right over here, that is just clear. It's not actually anything at all. 
Um, so it's going to literally be my paint and then just where the transfer is and just um, a very tiny um, halo around it, that's the transfer also. But that um, is going to just completely disappear. I'm gonna bring you guys a little closer. A little bit closer. There we go. Okay, all right, now you take your tool. You apply it, put your finger right here, and just start pressing. You don't have to use a lot of pressure. There's a little indent right here, so I would take my finger and just run along that area. Okay, and then I will continue along with the tool. Just, um, just you could do a circular, bleh, circular motion or vertical, horizontal, just make sure that you are just giving some nice um, pressure so that you have good adhesion. So see how this is lifting? Because yeah, there's no transfer there at all. Oh, you can't see, but yeah, sorry. Talking and not even showing you. All right, and I keep just rubbing it on. I just, I am in love with this transfer. Uh, when I saw it come out, because I am a Redesign with Prima content um, creator, um, I, yeah, knew I was going to have to order several. And if you guys don't want to buy it, that's okay, because I will probably use all of them. <laughs> all of them that I have in my collection on my website today. That's how much I love this. So you can use it flat or you can press into the edge right here. Just make sure that you aren't going like this because you will break your stick. And then you'll have to find another flat edge to work with, like maybe possibly your credit card, your driver's license, anything with a nice flat edge will work for you. But you already have the tool available, so why wreck it, right? And here I'm just using my nail, my nails that I don't have anymore. <laughs> All right, it should be good. Maybe I didn't do this part. Maybe I did, I don't know. I don't remember. All right, let's see, we'll start releasing. Okay, I haven't quite hit that area and it's harder because I have my drawer closed. I have the drawer closed because it's so much easier for you guys to visualize. Oh, you have to, Brittany, you're going to love transfers. Transfers are amazing. I could not live um, in my furniture painting world without transfers or stencils. Those are my two have to haves because they allow you to be so much more creative showed you what I was doing there. Okay, so I'm just taking my hand and just pulling lightly just to confirm that it's, <clears throat> it's actually stuck. And if, as I'm doing it in the process, I was gonna hope some of it would not release. Um, if some of it is actually still on the plastic, then you just press back down, boom and nothing bad has happened. Okay. Oh, it's turning out so pretty. See right there, that little pink, purple, lavender part it was actually still stuck to the plastic, so I pressed it down and away we went. Okay, let's see if we can do that again, just to show you. So again, this is called Vigorous Violet. Redesign with, <clears throat> Redesign with Prima 
has a new release of transfers, molds, stencils, um, two, 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 what else? Stencils, molds, transfers. That might be it, but that's a lot, right? It's gorgeous. What do you guys think? What do you think? What do you think? Is it not, is it beautiful? It's so pretty. So then what I do is I take my finger and I burnish <clears throat> the entire, <clears throat> I don't know, I don't usually have a <clears throat> frog in my throat, but there is one. Um, I take my finger and I just burnish along the entire transfer. And what that does is I'm making sure that I don't have any air bubbles at all. <clears throat> and I'm also, <coughs> pardon me, I'm also making sure um, that I'm getting rid of any hint of halo that would be around any of the details. It's actually just completely blending in to everything. So, boom, done. What do you guys think? Do I get any hearts, any thumbs up? I might have missed them because I wasn't watching. It's so pretty. Okay, so now don't let this think this is too complicated. Um, but this is what I did next uh, for this dresser. And I don't know, I, I'm completely fine with this. I think it worked out really, really good. So I'm happy with this um, extra little step that I took. Um, but there's so many different ways. Like I said, you could take this entire transfer Okay, you would take all of these sheets and just completely go all the way down and it will adhere to the lips, the little indent here, there, and then go all the way down. Absolutely. Just take your time as you're applying it and it'll be perfect. All right, so here's one more step. And again, if you're just joining me, the color paint that I used with this transfer is our Wise Owl One Hour Enamel. One Hour Enamel is an amazing paint. The finish is super hard, amazingly durable. Hi, Rosemary. Um, and um, super, super fantastic because it cures in one hour and it is ready to go, ready to paint on, ready to apply transfers, ready to, if it's painted on your kitchen cabinets, it is ready for use again. Thanks, Rosemary. I love this transfer so much. I can't even, can't even tell you. Okay, so I have applied, okay, so this is one sheet, guys, but I'm going to be eliminating this little section. So the way I found it easiest is to, again, with my finger, just measure and mark off where the end of this, you guys can't see that finger, there we go, where the end of this detail is going to be. So I'm just gonna take my finger along and right there, 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 I'm just making my own dotted lines. It's about a quarter inch above the dotted lines that are available on the transfer. But I just needed to go up just a hint more. I hope you can see that. The paint is not easy to distress. The paint um, can be distressed though. And if you were to just want, uh, blah, 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 blah. if you want to distress it, one hour enamel, I suggest that you first paint with our stain eliminating primer in clear. 
because that will allow for when you do distress, then the uh, wood tones will be able to peek through. But the other thing is, if you are going to distress one hour enamel, you want to distress it um, very quickly after you have painted it. So once it has, let me let me finish what I'm doing here. This piece right here, I'm going to put down on the floor. This piece. I am going to apply to the top of this drawer, okay? Um, but one hour enamel cures very, very quickly. And so that means it the finish is super, super durable, ready to go, um, ready to be back in use. And so if you're planning on distressing it, if you wait too long, it will totally cure and it would make it um, so much harder to, um, to distress. Of course, you'll still be able to, especially if you're using like a hand sander, um, but it, it, it's gonna be difficult. But I've seen some really beautiful kitchen cabinets painted, for instance, in um, Antique Villa and then and, and primed with our clear and then um distressed i keep going right over that lip the nice thing about our new transfers is you can actually you get a little bit of a wiggle room with them now where you they aren't completely stuck immediately if you notice i was cheating there a little bit right Okay, and then you just press it down to where it's flat. Okay, so then this row of the transfer is going to be where I attach the next piece. Okay, does that make sense? Thanks, Sherry. And uh, the color that is right here, this is our white birch. I don't know if you know, but Wise Owl also has wall paint. And it is called our one hour ceramic. <laughs> yeah, so um, that's what I was just talking about a minute ago. I painted my walls in my living room in this white birch, but in the one hour ceramic. And that paint, is no joke the best paint ever so if you know like a uh, a painter that does walls or a decorator let them know give them like just the little clue that um one hour ceramic is available and if they want to try it oh um, it's ceramic, so then, of course, it, it doesn't stain. But the super amazing part is it is, um, it is an eggshell. No, it's not. It's matte. It's a matte finish. And I don't know if you've ever seen walls that are painted in matte, um, but most people don't paint in matte because if they have kids or whatever, um, and it's a high traffic area, a matte finish is not going to be very durable. But our matte finish, our only finish in the ceramic is extremely durable, like as amazingly durable as any other finish out there. And it doesn't stain and it, and it really doesn't even need a primer. So pretty amazing stuff. Wasn't really planning on talking about that today, but there we go. I love giving you guys information on new products and that's what I'm doing. Okay, so this is the Vigorous Violet Transfer. And I mean, it's so much fun to apply. I could do this all day long and just watching the transformation happen. And wait till you see this dresser. 
I think I made the right choices for my color choices. I'm super happy with. Super happy with this new release transfer. Couldn't be any happier with the colors that they came up with, with the design. And this dresser had its name written all over it. Okay, it's looking good, guys. And join us today. Redesign with Prima is having a uh, Zoom call, Zoom meeting, video, live, whatever you want to call it. And it's going to be with um, several of its... Um, uh, creators, uh, mm -hmm. <sighs> content creators, which is what I am. Hi, Cody. I heard you've been shoveling all day, huh? Poor kid. I mean, guy. <clears throat> Cody's my son. He's up in Wisconsin, and I believe they have more snow than we do here, but I don't know. It's pretty bad. What do you guys think? to do it. The transfer is gorgeous. The colors are amazing. They're available. Vigorous Violet is amazing. Available on my website. Go check it out. Yes, um, Rosemary, usually you put a transfer over the drawers and they cut. Um, I did it because I thought it would be so easy to just leave this part here. I just wanted to. I just thought it it's kind of like a, a, just another dimension. Yes, normally um, I would and could put the transfer and then just start um, with my tool. I could literally just be rubbing all the way down and then the transfer would also <clears throat> go over here. So it was just a choice that I decided to make, just a design choice this time. And so I just wanted to show you a couple tips for that. All right, ready? Da -da 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 -da. This is what this side looks like. Ta -da! Isn't it pretty? So I divided it up in half. I used the right side on the left side and the left side on the right side, if any of that makes any sense at all. No more bouncing. And that's what it looks like. Thank you. Yeah, so do you see what I'm talking about? By leaving this strip or stripe or whatever detail um, just painted, I thought it was just really cool. It kind of really makes that transfer seem more three-dimensional. Hey, Zanette. Thank you, Susan. So, yeah. And you could, of course, take the transfer and wrap it around the edges so that it's on that side. You can add different um, transfers to complement this gorgeous, thanks, um, this gorgeous transfer. Okay, so there's just part of it. That's one sheet over there. And then this is three of the sheets. Hi, Karen. And yes, there are six sheets in this transfer. Okay, so that's what it looks like, all of it. And you look on the back and it shows one, two, three, four, five, six trans uh, sheets. And you can use it on more than one product or you can use one transfer and other transfers on one dresser. Um, how does it show up on black? Really, really pretty. I saw it on black and I've seen it on uh, pale blue. I've seen it on our Dijon mustard. Um, <laughs> what else? Yeah, I mean, it would just be a, a subtle, um, 
design on a black dresser, but it would be absolutely stunning. Um, so I use similar colors. Who just asked me that? Susan. I use similar colors to, um, similar colors to this one on another product, or another project that I did. And don't laugh or anything, but let's see right here. So this is, well, it's mainly black, but there's a lot of purple in this dresser because I applied a lot of metallics. Kind of, I do metallics a lot. But yeah, so these purples and pinks um, look really, really pretty on a dark background. Okay, don't look at the rest of my room. Thank you. <laughs> okay, all right, so I hope that this was helpful. Let me come back in view. Hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, this is just one way to apply a transfer. And um, yeah, I'm gonna have more fun. I've got two more sheets to apply. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take my uh, one hour enamel satin, that's our clear top coat, and I'm just going to apply it I may apply it to all of the drawers, or I may just apply it to seal the transfer. And I'm gonna do that after the transfer is um, sat um, for at least an hour. Let it just really get its glue sticking. And um, obviously I'll turn the heat back on so that everything is working good in this room, including myself, because I don't wanna be cold either. And I am, can you tell? I'm getting a little cold. <laughs> So yeah, I turned my heater off so that uh, you guys could hear me. Oh, Susan, I would love for you to come hang out and paint with me. It is so much fun. I love it. And it sounds like the world is falling apart outside. So icicles must be dropping. It's just crazy out. So I hope it's warm by you. All right, well, let's do it. <laughs> okay, so yeah, please, um, if you, if you know anybody that may um, be interested in learning the application of a transfer, please feel free to share this video. And um, yeah, I am a Wise All retailer and a Redesign with Prima retailer. So if you ever need, need any products, just let me know. Oh, okay, Susan. Yeah, I know where Peoria is. We were just at a skating competition, uh, I believe last year, right there at the stadium. I don't remember the name, right there by the river. All right, uh, take it easy guys. Thanks for watching and I'll see you later. I do ship, yes, Nikki, I do ship. Check out my website, it's kellysredesigns.com. Thank you, Sherry. Woo. Oh, Karen, that's a terrible, terrible temperature. Um, Kelly'sRedesigns.com. I have the links up at the top in the description, so go check them out, and I will put them in the comments also. All right, thanks. Um, join me next time for another fun tutorial. I have another product I'm going to be doing maybe this evening. <laughs>